so now let's continue with the we already saw the switch and the switch case if condition and all now continue continuing with the logical continuing with look at some more uh, logical uh, operators like ternary operator now if you look here additional if conditions can be handled using the ternary operator the above statement will assign true to access allowed so what is this if the first line says let access allowed if the age is a greater than 18 then behind the question mark there is it's like if age is greater than letting true or false so that's all but you can also nest further into uh, ternary operator now look at this message the first one checks less than three but if that does not fit true in the false you can give more conditions okay so let's take a look at this So let us take a let us take a look at this ternary operator. So I have uh, specified the age as 90 and I'll let's see what happens to the access allowed. So I go over here. So now access allowed is true because the age is so now I can also give further conditions here. I'll say greater than 18. So further I can give this age. say if it is greater than 30 and I'm changing this access allowed so this is another condition if its age is greater than 18 it will print a greater than 18 if it is greater than 30 so see here if it is true it goes here otherwise it will jump into this false it's like the if else and if it is greater it's again here let Problem is I'm assigning it again two times let me say so I just do it once. So if you see here greater than 18 first the if the first logical condition it prints it will stop over there. Okay this way you can nest it. These are the logical operators that we have already seen and or not so if equal to equal to and or if equal to equal to we have seen both the conditions and also there is one more not operation okay if you give an exclamation x it evaluates to false. Now let's look at objects. Objects is a reference data type, important one. Almost all data types of objects including functions, arrays are objects in uh, JavaScript. So what am I talking about? Objects can be created, they contain properties and methods. Object properties are key value type, important. Huh? Objects can be created, contain properties and methods, basically like a class object. Object properties are key value type. So if you look here, the first simple way to create a object is you say contact id colon key value name test we have created two object properties id and name there are two properties and if you see that contact dot id it will return that value the other way to create an object is you will say let x equal to new object x dot id equal to one x dot name test two objects can also contain method now if you see here An object is like uh, you will say id name value pair and you will also say get details okay so that can also be uh, created so this is one way of creating an object before we get into the practice let's see some more thing about the objects the object statement as method like you can list the keys of an object if you have multiple keys in this you can list all the keys and what are the values in this now if you want to create a new object uh, you can use object dot assign the target object will copy all the properties of the source so let us see what it means here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create an object called contact. This one we can just print out. It's a very basic way of creating an object. This will be colon. This will not be equal to. Okay, so that's the thing.
So it shows you the ID here. See object dot keys. And you have to pass the object to it. So this will list it. Similarly, if you see here, it will pass the value zero one keys and it will show the object dot values. Now basically everything in JavaScript is kind of an object only. Okay, so if you see here object dot keys, it shows the values over here. So moving on with this, uh, let's look at some more of this. Uh, let's look at some arrays also. Array is another important uh, ordered collection of values. It's two ways to define. Like you know, you can say let array equal to new array, or you can say let array equal to square brackets. An array can store elements of any type even functions okay it can it, you don't need to define a data type of this array you say let x equal to monday tuesday wednesday if you say x dot push it will add a value x dot shift will remove a value x dot unshift will move the value now another way to create a list is you can say let groups equal to you create the values and then you know you can move through the there is an optimized for loop. If you want to loop through all the values, you can say let fruit of groups and it will loop through the entire or set. So let's create this. push value will get added into the array let's see the values so if you see here it will create a array of Monday Tuesday with the index 0 to 1 okay you can add the months can console this one also okay so I'm going to print this so now if you see here April May June this also gets uh, as gets similarly created like an array okay so there are various ways in which you can create an array you can create a new array push the values or you can say let months equal to in square braces the value okay so now let's loop through the value so suppose you want to see each and every so this is the syntax for looping through you will say let month of months month will be the they are variable automatically create so you will say so this will list the month in a serial way okay so each and every value will be seen it will automatically loop through so it's an optimized loop for arrays so let's see this so if you see April, May, June, how did you do that? We say let month of months. Months is already an array. So when you say month of months, it will basically assign this. Okay. So please pause the video here and go through all the array objects and then we will proceed. Couple of things will also add if x dot shift. Now suppose, let me say, month unshift April. So if you say unshift, it will create another value over here. So that's what, okay. And now if you say shift, it will remove that value. Unshift will add a value, shift will remove the value, okay. All right, so that was about arrays and uh, an important data structure, objects and arrays. Please go through it and add it. And arrays can store anything, okay. It can store numbers, even functions. 
Now let's look at fun, uh, an array also has a length. If you want to find out the length of an array, you can say you can just say months dot length or something. Okay. It will show you the number of elements in there, total number of elements in there. So skip two. Okay. So pause the video here. Go through this objects and creating this object. So if you see here, this object there are two values in this object, two records in this object, and you can see them all. Then we created some arrays, manipulated the arrays also. Okay. So couple of other things we will see here is. Now we have a message here, right? We also have the string is also like an array, okay? So you can say substring of uh, see now here. The what I'm saying here is you can say substring of this message. So this this is what we want to console log here. The string is also like an array. Okay, so there are a lot of string functions you can do here. So just take a look here. So if you see here, it shows you the breakup over here. Great, greater than is gone. Great, because it picks up only the three. So there are a lot of such functions here in string. You can also say you can replace. See like greater and what is the we'll say non greater. So this way you can manipulate strings, okay? So let's see how this works. So very powerful JavaScript. If you've already seen the string can the these are string functions, okay? I don't have a slide on that. So we can just take a look here. So if you see non greater, it has replaced that sentence. Non greater. See here. So similarly, you have other functions here. So this way you can manipulate strings, okay? URL strings and all. And if you can also find the index. Index of then. Where is this then then starting? This will show you the uh, array index in the string where it is. So if you see here, it is eight. What? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it starts at eight. And then you can also you have other methods like last index of first index of. So these are various ways, you know. It will find out if the last occurrence of the substring. If there are multiple occurrences, what is the last occurrence? Then there is a first index. So these are things like you know you can explore and uh, use it to manipulate strings.